Hey guys, before we get to the audio, I just want to give a big thank you to Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you a bit more about them. Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat are monthly Japanese snack subscription boxes. Their goal is to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own homes through these snack boxes. Starting with Sakura Co., it's an authentic Japanese snack subscription box. They support local Japanese snack makers. Each box containing 20 traditional and authentic Japanese snacks, like Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. The theme of the Sakura Ko box this month is Kyoto's Crimson Leaves. Sakura Ko partners with the Kyoto Prefectural Government for a limited edition box design inspired by the beauty of Kyoto's autumn season. That's so cute. There's traditional delicacies like doriyaki and Sakura Ko's banana white chocolate. All of them pair excellently with the hochicha tea from Kyoto that's included in the box, and the tableware item is this flower dish that is absolutely beautiful. Alongside the items in a box, it comes with a booklet that tells you about the snacks that you receive, as well as allergen information, and the culture and history behind each of the snacks. From a personal standpoint, the snacks themselves are actually really delicious. I enjoyed a lot of them, and it was really nice to be able to experience the taste of these from, you know, somewhere that isn't Japan. To be able to try all these traditional Japanese snacks from the comfort of my own home was just really, really good. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. And thank you, Sakura Ko, for sending me a box to share this experience with my audience. Now let's talk about Tokyo Treat. Tokyo Street is a more modern Japanese snack subscription box where you get 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavoured Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Kit Kats, ramen, and much, much more. The theme for this month's box is Halloween Snack Haul. You get to celebrate Halloween with Tokyo Treat's limited Halloween box that's filled with Halloween-inspired snacks like Kit Kat Sweet Potato, a Pokemon Halloween Choco Pie, which was really good, by the way, and Koala March Halloween. They also had some really interesting things in here, like Japanese cola. Sorry, I'm gonna open it on camera, actually. I can't get it open. <laughs> see if I can do it this way. Oh, there we go. And Japanese instant ramen, which I didn't expect to get. Overall, the snacks in this box were really, really good, and I ate them pretty much all on the same day. <laughs> oh, they're tiny! Whoa. Oh, they are itty bitty. This box also had a booklet that tells you about the snacks you receive as well as allergen information, which was really helpful given that one of my housemates can't eat gluten. It was really nice to know what they could and couldn't eat. Not only are the snacks themselves in the boxes incredible, but the experience of getting the box, getting to open it and getting to explore the history behind each item and getting to taste all these treats that you would only get in Japan is just a really fun experience in itself. If you like Japanese culture or Japanese snacks, I encourage you 100% to get your own box or get it as a gift for your loved ones if you know that they might like it too. And to top it all off, Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat have been incredibly generous in giving me a discount code to give you guys if you wish to purchase your own box. Use code Avalia or the links in the description if you wish to get your own. Now let's get on to the video. <gasps> good, good evening, Master. I hope I didn't wake you. Me? Well, I, I was just going to bring this letter to you. I thought you were already asleep, so I wanted to slide it under your door. N no I don't know what it is. I wouldn't dare to look into your mail. It was, uh, someone slid it under the front door. Y yeah they just keep popping up there. Hmm? Well, this is your home, Master, so they must all be addressed to you. If they were for me, then you would have told me. I I'll let you sleep now. Good night, Master. Huh? Sh sure, I, I can stay. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, I... I guess it's good news, then. Uh, I, w well, I, I, I just noticed that you have a rather dreamy expression on your face right now. So I assume the letter was good news. A love letter? I, I'm not surprised. There are probably people yearning for your attention, Master. 
Me? No, 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 no. I, I'm just the one who brings them up to your room. I, I couldn't write a love letter. I don't know anything about being in love. No, I've... I've never been in a relationship. I wouldn't know how it feels. Besides, what would people think? A lowly maid going out with the town's renowned blacksmith. You'd be laughed out of town. That's very kind of you, master, but you don't have to lie to me. I know that I'm nothing. If it wasn't for your extreme generosity, I'd still be living in the streets. I could only dream of being with someone as kind as you. If you say so, master, but I think you're being far too kind to me. I... I guess it's a good thing I noticed those letters and brought them to you. I've never seen you so happy and flustered before. Hmm? I don't think I understand, Master. Are you looking for something, Master? Perhaps I could have. <gasps> for... For me? These are so... Beautiful. Thank you so much, Master. Yeah, um, I've just, I, I've just never gotten flowers before. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be alright. It's just some happy tears. <laughs> what, what's this? <laughs> But wait, is this... <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> I'm so glad you feel the same. I never thought this moment would come. I've been thinking about this for a, a while and I... And I... 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 Wow, that was wonderful. C could I maybe have another? I didn't know how to express my feelings and I was too scared of rejection, so, so I spent my nights writing these letters to you. I wasn't planning on letting you find out it was me, but I'm glad you found out. I got the idea from how much you like romance stories. I mean, almost every time you go down to the theatre, you watch a romance play. Of course I remember. I think of you all the time. It would prevent me from doing my daily task around here if it weren't all for you. Y yeah You make for great motivation. A, a date? No, no, I, I would love to go on a walk with you, it's just... Are you sure you want the townsfolk to know you're with me? <laughs> Thank you, Master. That means a lot. Pet name? Sh sure, I can think of something. I'm so used to calling you Master. It'll take a while to drop the habit. Hmm. How about Sweetheart? Yeah, you can call me that. I'd like that a lot. <laughs> oh, right. Um, the walk. Where do you want to go? The park sounds nice. If you're fine with it, then so am I. I'll get our coats then. Oh, and I need to put these flowers in a vase. <laughs>